Hey there VC, back with another video, and with this, I'm going to be unboxing a cool box set. Um, it's not in the box because when my mom came home, she forgot she ordered it, so she opened the box. I wanted to, like, have the whole box and everything, but it's still shrink-wrapped and sealed. So, um, um, I was on uh, eBay, and eBay occasionally sends me emails about, uh, stuff I might be interested in that's on, uh, that's, uh, been reduced in price. And, uh, this is one of those things when it's normally, I believe, $70, the price was down to $25 shipped and everything. I couldn't believe the price, so I uh, took it up while I can and ordered it. And, uh, yeah, um, it's one of my favorite groups, so I was really glad. It's the Creedence Clearwater Revival Singles Box Set. I know people are probably going to be thinking, like, oh, this came out a while ago. I think, like, five years ago now that this came out. But still, I mean, for 20-some-odd dollars, you can't, you can't beat it because uh, 15, 45 RPM records, it has the picture sleeves because it's a really nice book, and it has the hype sticker. And, uh, of course, I'm going to keep this one in the shrink because, you know, people, I see them take off the shrink. But, honestly, if you're sliding this in and out, it's going to start scraping at the bottom. With the shrink, you know, they'll keep it um, without scraping it. So, my trusty little knife here. I'm going to try to open this very nicely. Just give it a nice... I don't want to cut it. Um, this might take a second, so I'm sorry in advance. In advance, in advance. But mainly, uh, I just like to keep the shrink wrap on things. Oh man, this shrink is a... This knife, I guess, isn't as good as it used to be or something. Alright, I just want to get it a nice, good, um, you know, a nice good tear. Um, it is coming off the shrink, like I said. Um, oh crap, I'm not doing this in the camera, sorry. But, um... Let's try to get this. Maybe I'll cut off the entire uh, top shrink area. Maybe I'll uh, leave it as like a flap or something. I'm thinking of just leaving it as a flap like this. Um, then again, I could just cut off the top too. So um, you're going to see me get off this top. That, that's good enough. All right, so managed to keep it in the shrink pretty well. Um, and also, this is glued on in the back, and those will fall off, so um, that's another good reason to keep it in the shrink. So, tops off. Ah, uh, cardboard quality on this is really thick. That's actually pretty nice quality cardboard, so, um, this is the box. Doesn't look too bad. Um, first thing that's in there is this nice book that has some kind of white staining on it. I don't know what's up with that, but, um... Just has that new, has a new smell. Um, here's the back of the book. Um, yeah, this came out a couple years back. I just never got around to getting it. First time I'm seeing this packaging, so that's pretty cool. Um, I would like to show everything, but um, time right now, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. Um, let me look at it myself, too. Oh my god, there's a picture of Doug Clifford here without the beard, and everyone knows big CCR fans that, uh, Doug Clifford has, uh, he's always had a beard, so him without a beard is definitely an, an unusual sight, because then you have Tom Fogarty over here, wait, no, Tom Fogarty over here, John Fogarty over there, and, uh, Stu Cook. Um, CCR's gotta be in my top five favorite brands, because I, um, I, I don't really think they've done anything bad, all their albums are just great, um, I just think it was kind of sad that Tom Fogarty and John Fogarty never really rekindled their, uh, friendship, even though they were brothers, even after Tom died. So, um, that's very, very sad. But, um, what's in here? This, uh, it has the releases and stuff listed. Yeah. Um, let me put that to the side now. Now, uh, here is the first single. These pictures are, um... Yeah, they look like they came off a copy. Um, the cardboard is, uh, pretty thick. But, uh, the pictures are not very crisp and clear. They, uh, these definitely came from a photocopy of the original. You could see some ring wear there. But it, it, it came from a pretty good copy of the original. Uh, the disc, beautiful label, beautiful replications. I gotta give them that. Um, the disc is beautiful, really good pressing. Um, yeah, no scratches, which a lot of times, and it's unfortunate this happens, that whenever you buy new singles, that they will tend to have scratches. Um, the sleeves on these are, they're not as thick as you'd expect them to be, and, uh, they're not glued. 
uh, necessarily the best. Like, I could show you right here where the glue is coming undone, so I might have to do a little touch-up on my own. But then again, this has been sealed in a box for about five years, so um, I can't, you know... Oh, what's this? Oh, isn't that a pity? Um, there's also a seam split at the bottom of this. That's, that's a shame. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that, though. Alright, what's the next one? We have Credence Clearwater Revival Suzy Q. Um, yeah, um, you could see in the lighting, it's, the cardboard is thick, but it's not that thick. Um, let me take this out. That's also really good, uh, replications of the label Suzy Q Part 1 and Part 2. Um, there's just, there's a weird thing in the label, um, where, uh, where they press the hole, uh, it's left behind piece of vinyl, but I'm not gonna complain about that, because, uh, the pressing themselves is, uh, pretty nice. So, yeah, here's the second release, really, Suzy Q. Um, let me go more in depth on these sleeves anyway, let me show both sides, I just wanna, I wanna make them look pretty good and presentable. Overall, they're not too bad. I mean, there's a seam split on this, but that's kind of to be expected after it's been locked up. I don't know um, what's happened to it in the years. I mean, the glue on the tops of these doesn't reach all the way to the top, though. That's my only complaint. It does not go all the way to the top, and I don't know why. That's definitely, uh, definitely strange. Uh, I'd expect them to have them better glued, but not complaining, like I said. What's this? Credence Clearwater Revival. Walk on water, backed with I Put a Spell on You. I'm pretty sure that I Put a Spell on You has to be the A-side. Uh, that's a really good picture, too. You have Doug Clifford. Um, I, I don't know anyone besides Doug Clifford and Stu Cook in this picture, because they all have mustaches, so they all pretty much look the same, sorry to say it. But, um, yeah, sleep on this one actually doesn't look too bad. It's actually really, looks really nice. Um, all these have the regular fantasy labels. Damn, that looks really nice. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, normally when I get pressings, though, like I said, they'll come scratched, and, you know, there's always got to be something wrong with them. These are not too bad. I mean, I gotta hand it down to the pressing plant that did this. They didn't do it too bad. What's this one next? Proud Mary and Born on the Bayou. Bird. But, um... Yeah, this one also looks pretty good. Um, yeah, here's the sleeve. Proud Mary Born on the Bayou. Has a really nice picture of them. Um, this one, um, there, there is a scratch on this one. I mean, like I said, I just bought this sealed. Um, there's scratch mainly on side, uh, on the Proud Mary side. And I'm pretty sure that's going to show in the video. But, uh, it's not too bad. There's, like, scratches and scuffs, but that it's not too bad. I think it should play nicely. Next is, uh, what a single this is, too. Bad Moon Rising and Lodi. This one you could tell came from a copy because you see just the slightest hint of ring wear. Um, near Doug Clifford's head you could see the white splotches, but on the other side there isn't any. But yeah, the Bad Moon Rising has to be one of their biggest hits. I really love the song Lodi. It's one of my favorite CCR songs. Very, very good song. Let me uh, check the disc on here. Really, there, there's a scratch on the Bad Moon Rising side. Now I'm seeing... Uh, they, they were just like, uh, let's just try to slap these out while we can, I guess. But not too bad, though. I, I do have to give it to them. They're pretty good copies. And all of them have that issue where the glue does not reach all the way to the top. So I'm going to have to do a bit of gluing for those. Green River and uh, Commotion. I have the original of this, but it, didn't, but it didn't have the picture sleeve. I don't think half of these actually had picture sleeves. I think that they uh, came up with picture sleeves for a lot of these, to be honest, because I don't think I've ever seen records with these picture sleeves. I don't think I've ever seen picture sleeves with these records, I mean... I know some of them did. I've seen a few with the picture sleeve, but, um... Yeah, that's another scratch. God, all these scratches. But, um... You know, it's, it's new. It's new. <laughs> but, um... I, I don't know what to say, but they're pretty nice. 
Um, I don't think this ever had a picture sleeve because every copy I see always has a company sleeve or just a plain white sleeve. I know this one was an actual picture sleeve that was issued because I've seen this one in person. Fortunate Son and Down on the Corner. This one came from a copy, but you can't really tell because this one actually does look pretty nice. I'm thinking I'm seeing a little bit of pixelation on the lettering, which is a big no-no. Um, you'd expect it to be a little more clear. Down on the Corner, pretty good. Fortunate Son, also pretty good. I mean, what a single this was. Down on the Corner with Fortunate So Was there really an A side to this? <laughs> Because they, it, it's I mean, those are really a B side because those songs are just really great. Traveling Band and Who Will Stop the Rain. You can see the creases on the sleeve in this one. Um, yeah, you can see it. It's messing with my mind. See if the sleeves are actually creases or creased or not. This one has a bigger seam split on the bottom. I haven't even checked the bottoms of all of these. All of these have some sort of seam split. Um, my face when I see the seam splits. But, uh, Traveling Band and Who'll Stop the Rain. Who'll Stop the Rain, one of my favorite CCR songs. Very great song. You can see in the sleeve the creases. That was messing with me for a second. Who'll Stop the Rain. God, what a song that is. Let me check the disc. Disc on this one isn't too bad. Uh, this one doesn't have scratches. Who'll Stop the Rain and Traveling Band. Um... Yeah, what I normally do, um, I, I show it with all my videos whenever I have singles. I'll take, uh, go to the dollar store, get like a thing of, uh, thing of sandwich bags. You cut off the top and then they become polylined, uh, inners for the, uh, singles. But you have to make sure that they're about eight inches. What's this next one? Run through the jungle and up around the bend. Um, pretty good pictures. Uh, I'm just having a problem with these, uh, unglued ones. This one actually doesn't have a bottom seam split, so uh, congratulations there, John Fogarty, or whoever, you know, up around the bend, and run through the jungle. I'd say that up around the bend was the A side, but you know, it's whatever they had it as. Overall, picture quality on this one isn't too shabby either. Um, the sleeves are just wavy. That, that's bothering me, the, sleeve, the sleeves are wavy. Like, uh, like, old records when they get water damage and the covers become wavy, that's how the sleeves are. And I know because it hasn't been raining today, um, haven't gotten rain in a bit in Florida. Um, actually, it's drizzling now, ironically. But, and the neighbor's dog is barking. What's this? I, as long as I can see the light and looking out my back door. Looking out my back door is such kind of a goofy song. Um, sleeve on this one looks pretty nice, too. Um, any issues with the vinyl that I can see? No. Um, yeah, press pretty good. Um, looking at my back door as long as I can see the light. I mean, I, I, would I pay $70 for this set? I mean, I'm just going to be brutally honest with you guys. Hell no, I would never pay $70 for this set for what comes. But for the, uh, for the ones I found that, uh, it was like $25 shipped, that's not bad. Not bad for what you get. But, um... Yeah, just don't spend $70 on this. I think I saw another one that's actually currently listed on eBay, if you guys are interested in this whatsoever, that um, it's listed on eBay, and it's like $30 shipped. It comes from Canada, though, but shipping is free, so. Have you ever seen The Rain and Hey Tonight? Um, two more big songs from them. Hey Tonight. Um, there's uh, It's not a scratch, it's a scuff near the edge over there. And Have You Ever Seen The Rain? has scratches in the runout, not on the disc though, which is uh, pretty good. Have you ever seen the rain and hay tonight? That's the thing about CCR. Their songs, I don't think they're ever gonna, you know, die out. CCR now, I just think, are so underrated. Um, Credence, Clearwater Revival, Door to Door, and Sweet Hitchhiker. Don't believe I've ever heard this. I'm guessing this is after Tom left the group. And Stu Cook without a mustache. That's a That's a terrifying sight. It's like seeing Doug Clifford without a beard. That's very, very terrifying. <laughs> but, uh, door to door, don't see any scratches. Sweet Hitchhiker, pretty good. Yeah, sleeves on these, like I said, are a bit wavy. Not too bad, though. Um, for what they are, pretty good. What's this next one? 
Someday Never Comes and Turn Up the Country. This one is a... This one's especially a bad copy. Well, just for the sleeve, for uh, how the quality is, especially if you look at the lettering over here, that looks... I mean, you can tell that they're, uh, you know, they take it from the original. You can see the creases and such. But, um, yeah, Sunday Never Comes. And, uh, Turn Up the Country. I think that was a Doug Clifford song. Doug Clifford. Good old Doug. Good old Doug. But, um, yeah, this one it doesn't look too good. It looks, uh, quite... I wouldn't say pixelated. I'd say kind of blurry at the bottom. It looks almost like someone took it from, like, an amateur camera, not an actual scan. And, uh... Created Clearwater Revival featuring John Fogarty. I heard it through the grapevine. Good golly, Miss Molly. Uh, this is not a good painting. <laughs> I mean, they, they look like they could be in Planet of the Apes. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's not a good painting. But, um... Let me check the disc on this. Good golly, Miss Molly. And I heard it through the grapevine. Single edit. Yeah, because the original was, like, 10 or 11 minutes long. Uh, single is like four minutes long, which is, you know, better for the people that don't like the longer version. But I like the longer version, so I'm okay with it. And the final single was this very strange one. 45 Revolutions Per Minutes. It's part 1 and Part 2. For promotion only. Here's the weird thing about this. It is like... It's a really trippy thing to listen to. It's like interviews that are, um... Like, there's music and there's interviews that are slowed down, sped up, played backwards... It sounds like something John and Yoko would have worked on in 1968 or 1969. It's, uh, very strange. Talking about the Beatles on the back, too. A black, uh, I'll, I'll let you read that. I'll hold that up for a bit. Hopefully you can read it. That's enough time for you to pause, so, um... Yeah, um, let me check the disc on this. A white Fantasy label. 45 random rep... 40, oh, this one has a scratch on it, too. Oh, my God. What is it with these? Ugh. Side 2 even has scuffs. Oh, my God. But, yeah, they do replicate the things pretty good. Maybe it's just my copies that have a few scratches here and there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, show some more of the box. Uh, this is how it looks inside. Fairly heavy-duty cardboard. Um, yeah, I kept it in the shrink. Hmm. What else? The stuff on the back is glued. That's uh, just glued on with a little bead in the center. That's a good reason to keep the shrink on. And the top just goes on like uh, like so. That fits like a glove. I like that fit. But that is the Creedence Clearwater Rival Singles Collection Box Set. Thank you guys for watching.